What's going on guys, welcome back, and today we have a brand new video on Bitcoin because it's been very volatile, lots of ups, lots of downs, uh, and just, you know, a lot of stories going around how it's interacting with everything else going on in the world today. So dive deep into the Bitcoin price chart, couple of stories on Bitcoin, see if anything's really going on. But before we jump into all of that, if you're not subscribed, make sure to smash that sub button because we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers but let's take a look at bitcoin's price chart right here and it is uh very very volatile you can see i mean going back to january 23rd it's like the around the end of january we see it start to move up and then we move down and then we move up and then we move down and these are pretty big moves nothing kind of going sideways so uh but when we zoom out, we look at this from a whole from back here, the January start of the year. We can see that the bottom here, 32, almost 33,000. And then another bottom right here at about 34,000. And we're currently at 37,000. So this is an uptrend from this point going up to like right here. So basically, as long as we don't go below 35,000 or even below 34,300. That's going to be the goal of this downtrend here to stay in an uptrend. There's a lot of different indicators that are saying bullish and everything, but just looking at an overall chart, we're seeing higher lows. And this is, it didn't really get a higher high in this part here. So who knows what that's all about. And then another kind of thing just maybe shaping up here an inverse head and shoulders usually when i see these things nothing ever comes from them so we'll see if anything does but basically the big thing we're gonna look for is a higher low so we have 33 then we have 34 3 and that so we want to be above this last one ideally probably above 35k so we'll see how it all goes but we also have these points below to see interacting with so 37,000 we pretty much bounced off that right here see if it interacts anymore and then trying to get 39,000 so we're kind of in a huge range here from 37 to 39 very easily could go up to 39 come back to 37 and kind of be stuck in here and see if it breaks up or breaks down see if it how it reacts to everything going on in the world maybe things start to get better if oil's skyrocketing you know that could be signs of a recession and how does bitcoin do if uh, if a major recession happens will be a pretty big question but if you compare this drawdown to uh one we saw in 2021 you can see the last one was down 47 percent so this was the move from all-time highs of like 65k or 63 somewhere around there and it came down to 29k when everyone was freaking out and then it rallied to 69k so it was 47 percent down for 98 days now we're seeing 41 percent down for 119 days so we're uh, a little bit longer than the last one with a little bit less of a move down but just comparing the two obviously we would be at that same kind of time range and it would be a higher price so instead of 29k we're at around that 34k was the bottom of this kind of rally here so maybe we see another springboard up and then breaking all-time highs getting to maybe closer to 80k this time before seeing something kind of a downturn happen and then obviously the network continues to grow move forward do its own thing there are 40 million addresses holding bitcoin so you can see balance of address with a non-zero bitcoin balance from the beginning just absolutely parabolic growth and the big difference here between why i don't think we can look at 2017 and the bull market and say this is how things have to be done this is going to be a bear market this is the time period all this stuff because this is what happened in 2017 we're just at a completely different level of adoption institutions are involved big money's involved there's lots of things coming in it's a lot more than just the retail investor involved so like 2017, 2018, this time period, we see this big ramp up, this spike in addresses holding Bitcoin. And when the price fell down, a complete collapse in this Bitcoin wallet addresses holding Bitcoin. So a giant move down. We don't see that anywhere here in 2021, 2022. 
Maybe you can see the spike here, but it didn't fall down. It's still just con just going up continuously. So instead of seeing this collapse in addresses, these people moving on and not wanting to pay attention to Bitcoin anymore, it's a big subject of discussion. People want to stay invested in Bitcoin. They want to hold Bitcoin. They want to keep up with the news on Bitcoin. It's a very different environment than it was in 2017. So when you say this has to happen, a bear market has to happen, I don't think that it has to happen. It can happen, but it there's a better chance of a bear market, as people in crypto know it, like 80% drawdowns, not happening. And just going forward, just kind of constantly grinding upwards. There's going to be volatility. There's going to be swings up, swings down. But I don't think there's going to be collapses in price. And if Bitcoin is withholding all of this stuff right now with the war going on, the oil price surging, the global recession threats, and it's still at 38, 37,000, that's insanely good. And we got to look at the Bitcoin hash rate. It's just another kind of indicator of the network health. So we had wallet addresses. This is good showing network growth. And then we have the hash rate. This also shows the network growth, everything going on. And again, we look all the way back to July of 2021. Just constant uptrend growth. Nothing, no major downturns, nothing really going crazy. And even this all time high at 214 million terashes per second on the weekly chart. But recently we had to move down. Uh, don't know exactly what these big events are happening. Probably the war stuff in uh, Kazakhstan, I think, is getting affected pretty badly. And there's a pretty good amount of hash rate there. If we go to raw values, we can see in the recently here. Instead of this kind of constant uptrend where we see the raw values even kind of maybe go sideways for a bit before continuing kind of moving up right here in this very small recent period. It actually looks like there's a downturn. It looks like there's a little bit happening where it's not really just trading sideways up here. It's kind of we're not trading, but going sideways. It's kind of moving down a little bit. So keep an eye on it. I don't think it's anything crazy. It'll just be short term moves. Like when you go into the week, even when we have moves down, it can be here for periods of time and then we get a massive spike up and then just a ton of mining comes in and then you can have sideways moves or moves down. But ultimately, the trend is moving higher. And finally, another reason we might be seeing big volatility in Bitcoin is the Biden executive order on crypto. I don't know why this is still a subject of discussion, but here we go again. This tweet is from today. A Biden set to sign an executive order this week directing federal agencies to examine the potential regulation of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Bloomberg reports that's a whole lot of nothing. Like, who cares what is going on in this? Because it's literally nothing. It's an executive order to ask agencies to start thinking about regulation. So nothing is happening from this, but it's it's all over the news line, the news headlines. Everyone's looking at this saying this is going to be terrible for crypto. They're regulating and doing all this, but literally nothing is happening. There's an executive order that's going to be signed that has been talked about for months now, it feels like. And it's to ask agencies to start thinking about maybe regulations. A whole lot of nothing. So all in all, Bitcoin's rice short term if you're fixated on that you're missing out on way bigger pictures the network growth both on the hash rate and the wallet addresses holding bitcoin absolutely great very healthy continued uptrends and then the difference between now and 2017 i think is massive and this huge bear market potential that people want to keep talking about might not actually be there but that's gonna do it for this video as always i'm gonna do smash the like button and subscribe run the road to 1000 subscribers and i'll see you guys in my next video